What's good, fam? Welcome to your daily PSA. The Black Nuna Speaks. Y'all, inspiration comes in the most amazing forms. And one of them is from y'all, my fam. Last night I was on Twitter and I retweeted tweeted this from Mnet News. And, you know, you know I, I didn't think anybody would catch on because I was reading this. I was like, whoa, because it caught my eye. But somebody else retweeted it again. And I was like... We was talking about it, and it just was like, I, I wasn't going to talk about this, you know. In the back of my mind, I'm like, nah, should I, should I not? But Miss Honey on Twitter, yes. Everything on So Long's booty meat and thigh meat, she already know what I'm talking about. Uh, was like, gave me the push to do this, because I wasn't going to talk about it now. Okay, this veteran singer, you know, Lee Sung Chul. Dude has been around for a minute. I don't have anything bad to say about him because he's a very amazing singer. I mean, he's a fucking big deal. Like, really, he's... People know him. He, like, he's... Shit, he's, like... He's up there. He's up there. You know, like, he's a well-respected musician. He's been singing for a minute. The guy has grip. He has pull and shit. He's well known or well respected, you know. I mean, he's a sage among the music uh, industry in South Korea. So everybody was like, when you walk past him, you're just like, hey, you know what I mean? Well, dude put something on his Twitter last night. Now, Dalsha Blitz video came out, um, Kim Yim's video came out, teaser came out, and. Um, Brave Girls video came out. And you know, lately, girl groups have been sexing it the fuck up, which I have no problem with, okay? There's nothing wrong with seeing a little bit of ass and titties up on my, you know, screen because, you know, all that open y'all shit, egg yo shit ain't even cutting it for me. I can understand from a age range of groups of like, and they're like teens on up appropriation for that sort of thing I understand but grown ass girls doing that no and he was like he doesn't think this is right for him and his family to be watching this and then all of a sudden some ass and titties be popping up what is going on whatever um let me be honest with you it for me I was kind of ash holish in my opinion I mean I can understand his standpoint but honestly if you don't like it, you can go stage exit left. Let's be real. I mean, you know, it's 2013. Ain't nobody trying to see no cute shit no more. Nobody's trying to see it. Grown ass women. There's groups out there that is appropriate for that anyway. You know, certain groups like SNSD. Even though they grown as fuck, it suits them because that's what they were made to do. Tiny G, that's what they're made to do. Rainbow, that's what they're made to do. Sister, on the other hand, they don't do that shit. Even Horns, like, I don't do no fucking egg yo shit. This is not my style. Okay? We are sexy and sultry. Okay? Grown ass women. This is what we do. Fucking, um, after school, changed it up, and they're getting with the sexy groove, which I approve 100%. You know, everybody's getting getting down with their sexiness now, you know, and I have no problem with it. Look at Lee Hury. She's in her mid-30s. Gorgeous woman. Fucking gorgeous. And, like, she looks good, and she... Flaunts her sexiness. I have nothing wrong with that. Fortunately, Lisa Jules doesn't like this. And for me, you know, I'm like this. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. Point blank. Sex sales. It's 2013. Actually, sex has been selling for years. Hundreds, thousands of years. So don't be surprised when you turn your TV on and you see this. You shouldn't have been surprised. I mean, you act like you've never seen a booty before. Okay? Times have changed. Alright? Things progress 
and this is how it is. It it pisses me off. It pisses me off though about this shit. How fucking like girls get the negative content of things. How oh it's bad for a girl to be up on her on stage and have a little booty coming out and you know she's doing this on stage but a dude, a boy group come out swivel his hips and fucking gyrate all the fucking place and sweat coming down all rubbing his nipples and shit and he can pop lock and drop it and like you know pop his crotch and shit and I'm just like what? It's this double edged sword shit that be pissing me off it's not okay for the girls to do it, but it's okay for a dude to do whatever the fuck he want. See, this is the shit. This is the. This is what I'm talking about. Some male chauvinist bullshit. Male chauvinist shit. So it's so not okay for the girl to do this. To be on polls on the videos and shit, have booty hanging out and shit like that. But it's okay for a guy to take off his shirt and gyrate and shit like that in a video like that. What the fuck? Fangirls can't get their groove on, but fanboys can. Bullsh I think it's just bullshit to me. I'm sorry. He's a real respected man. I respect him for his music, but other than that, it's just bullshit. You don't like it? Turn the fucking TV off. That's how it works. You know, turn your head that way. And for some reason, I think he's going to be like, well, I'm just going to have to call them and tell. And you can't blame it on the girl. This is the company's concept for their group. This is the direction they're going for so people can buy their stuff. People don't understand it. And like, why would you care? Do your thing. You're a veteran. You've been in music for a minute. Do you. What about you and the direction of music that you want to influence people for your music? Okay. If you don't like that, their appropriation of clothing and their taste and their sexual in innuendos, what they do with their music, Okay, then I can understand that. Cool, because you got kids. Whatever. You don't let them watch it. And you don't got to watch it. You can watch something else. Okay? That's how it work. And that's what I... Yeah. Now, this shit with Crayon Pop is just hilarious. Now, I'm going to put the description and everything below because I don't want to go in deep, deep detail to explain it because it's... It's crazy. The decrimination. If I said it wrong, I apologize. But I have the definition and everything below. It's um, this big political shit in South Korea. It's just like, it's all over the place. And it's just a big, it's it's crazy. It'll be. It's, it's a fucking, it's, it's just crazy. If you didn't know, a while back, Killstone from Secret said that word, and people went in her ass about it. I was just like, what the fuck? And I was just like, really? And people made a big deal about it, left, right, up, down, side to side. It was some bullshit. So, Crown Pops Way tweeted something. But that was a while back. I don't even know why the fuck this is even brought up right now. It's stupid. And so I have all the tweets and everything below. You can go look it for, for yourself. So please don't ask me. Please. When I say read the description bar below. Read the description bar below. The info, info bar below so you can understand everything. Because people ask me questions when I have all the information in the info bar. Read my lips. Read the fucking info bar. But anyway. She, you know, she said that in the tweet. Motherfuckers got mad and she apologized, but she threw shade at the same time. The CEO came and explained the situation. He threw shade. Yes. Hilarious. The thing about me with this is that it's a catch-22 thing. The reason I say it's a catch-22 thing with me is because, first of all, they're a rookie group. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe you should have been like hush-hush for a little bit. But at the same time, I do give him props for being like, hey, fuck you, Neetsons. You know, it's about time that, you know, these companies start taking action against these Neetsons. Because these motherfuckers spend all day banging their fingers on the fucking computer talking shit and trying to control everybody else's lives but don't have control of their lives. You know what I'm saying? Because every little thing that somebody does, a Neetson is going to just go and go berserk about it and just be like, well about it get crazy with it and it's it's about time somebody actually said something so with me you know he should have chilled a little bit and be like okay whatever 
been a little bit incognito with his statements but at the same time i do give him props to be like hey this is what i'm doing i don't give a fuck you don't like it kiss my ass whatever you know what i mean saying wait I like Grandpa. I'm going to support him. I'm going to continue to support him because basically to me, I don't think this is a big deal, but I think it's just stupid how Nixon can just go back on shit and find shit and try to bring old shit up just because. You know what I mean? Just dumb shit. Dumb, dumb, incredibly dumb, stupid shit. Just, ah. Uh, it's just amazing how one word can just, just fuck up so much shit. And the 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 way the blah, blah, the definition behind it is just like crazy but i have everything in the info bar below so you can go look and whatever but anyway that's my video for today tomorrow review a choice i will pick um a topic from one of the comments from yesterday's video so if you want me to do a topic for tomorrow for viewers choice put it in ye to yesterday's um comment section on there so yeah Anyway, let's 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 debate. Let's see what's going on. Let's talk about this shit, y'all, for real. Because I think about me is that I'm so tired of these male chauvinist, sexist, double-edged sword shit. Just I didn't think it's fucked up how people are like, well, I don't like these girls with the booty out and everything, but it's okay for a guy to do shit like that. I'm <sighs> whatever. Anyway, <sighs> I got to go. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Talk to you later. Love, peace, increase it. Y'all have a great day. Bye.